do this as well. Now there is something called as an order routing. Now order routing is essentially nothing but how does an exchange know that your strategy is sending orders. So when you sit on a trading terminal, what you do is you identify that this is a script you want to send an order on and you want to send a limit order or a market order and so on and on. So you basically press those buttons and the order goes. Okay. Behind the scenes what's happening is that it is essentially sending a message to the exchange and most of the times it's a fixed message or a nearly uh, uh, it's, it's a variant of fix. Okay. Now, fix is basically uh, so what happened is in 1993 uh, two US banks they wanted to communicate to each other what trades they are doing. Okay, so I guess those, uh, those banks don't exist anymore. Uh, one of them got merged into Citibank, the other was RBS, I'm not sure. Uh, one of them was Smith Salomon, I guess. So what they did was they said, okay, we will develop a, uh, we'll develop a language by which we will be able to communicate our trading. Okay, between. Now, at a later stage what happened is that other banks also joined it. And then what they did was, and just like internet, okay. So just like uh, there is uh, this... Uh, there is this www okay so there is something called as fix and this is financial information exchange okay board now what happens is that when you when you tell to the exchange that i am hitting a market order so what you will essentially be sending to him is is that i want to send a market order on a given script so let's say it's a reliance and then you are saying that it's a market order so you will say that tag 35 is equal to 1 which essentially means that you are sending a market order. With that tag, you have to send a price which can be zero because you are sending a market order. But if you are sending a tag 35 equal to 2, then you will be sending a price. So you will be sending a price 708 of limit order. So it's a very simple thing. It's just a string where there will be tags and this tags will be decoded at the exchange end and they will say okay. And then what they will do is they will send you an act. So when you send an order to the exchange, what it will do is it will send you an acknowledgement. It will send you an acknowledgement whether it can accept your order or not accept your order. So let's say you do not have uh, or your broker or you do not have sufficient uh, fund at exchange end. So what exchange will tell you is that I am sending you a reject on this order because you do not have sufficient funds to take this position. What you can also do you uh, what and it can do it in many ways. Let's say you are trading derivatives and there are open open interest and positions that you can take in a given exchange and you cannot take more than a certain. And now your, your trading strategy is keeping on saying that okay I want to keep taking these positions and so on and on. At certain time when your OI limit goes beyond, the exchange instead of accepting your order will give you a reject saying that the open interest limits have been violated and you cannot accept your order. Now most of the times what will happen in normal scenarios is that it will send you an acknowledgement and then it will send you and uh, it will send you that yes the next message will be that yes your order has been accepted and we are placing this order in the order book at exchange. If you send a market order what it will do is it will send you a fill. Okay, So this is how exactly the order routing server works. Now there are various various variants of it. So people and essentially what happens is is that various markets have developed fix in their own ways. Now in India what happens and there are markets with various kind of